This is my Dave Cooper small collapsible to an extent uh, motocross trials bike trailer that I got for my son's little uh, Beta Rev 50 to go on and it's pretty good you have to put it together yourself but it's not too difficult I think the first thing I assembled I think the first thing I did was I bolted these wheel brackets onto here um, which is this part oops and it goes how's it go it goes like so uh, without the wheels on um, and then I think uh, and I did the other side and by the way everything's labelled left and right but you don't really need that because you know it's the right way around if the wheels are trailing see how that piece comes out that's to go towards the rear of the trailer that black piece so as long as that's pointing towards the rear then you know it's the right way around um, and then what you do you so this piece um, bolts on with these three big bolts here um, and then the back piece bolts on with these three so at first I was like a bit doesn't seem sort of if I was building this out of Lego I probably wouldn't just use one two three bolts and have like the whole weight of the bike is potentially pressing down and bending pulling at those bolts but I guess metal is really strong so you know so your intuition about what is um, strong and what isn't is probably not quite right because it is made of very strong still uh, then what do we do then you get these brackets so they go like this around here bolt them on with two bolts and then the mud guards just bolt on like so and then um, you've got this cross piece here that bolts on with two small bolts and that's for just uh, sort of strapping the bike to and then you get this piece two bolts um, and then at the back there's a bracket for the light board and then the light board is just they supply these and they supplied the light board um, when I got my light board it was a bit broken so I've just fixed it with duct tape but I don't know if it was me that did that or them so I haven't really done anything about that but that's fine uh, and yeah you can just I probably have to get some cable ties to keep this wire in control and that's about it so as for sort of how tight to do the bolts up you can't really the only bolts you can really do up tight anyway are these ones um, because like if you tighten these I had a, like a torque wrench on it and I found that as soon as you go beyond a certain torque you're just squeezing the, this tube anyway um, but yeah do, do it up as tight as you can and it should be fine so I did up as tight as I could but I had to sort of sit on sit on the trailer and at some point you can't tighten it anymore because the wheels just skid around uh, but yeah that's that's it I'm pretty pleased that I haven't had a chance to use it though because of all this quarantine when I first heard about the quarantine and I thought it'd just be working from home and I'd be able to go out on the bike you know to a remote place and do some riding but it hasn't really worked out like that they don't seem to want us to um, even you know go far from our own homes so hopefully at some point I'll get the bike on uh, they provided me with some straps as well um, and it's all pretty decent not too expensive it's going to be kept outside but it's all nicely galvanized you can see how it's all sort of shiny so I can't imagine it going rusty I don't know much about welding but it all seems strong enough to me probably I guess we'll find out won't we if it all falls apart when um, when I tow it towing is going to be a new skill to learn but it's only a little trailer it shouldn't be too hard just have to remember it's there really so there you go little trailer from Dave Cooper look it up on Google <laughs>